So you're probably in the market considering buying one of these two knives, the PM2 or the Para 3. Which one should I get? Should I get one? Should I get the other? Perhaps you already have a PM2 and you're considering buying the Para 3 or vice versa. You have the Para 3 and maybe you are considering buying the PM2. Maybe you have one and you're trying to justify yourself purchasing the other or maybe getting both. Maybe this is going to be your first spider code knife. Well, these are all the type of questions that we're going to be answering in this video. Hello and what is going on guys? My name is Miguel and you are watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything knives and EDC gear. Today, as you probably saw in the title and thumbnail, yes, we are going to be discussing the HO question, which knife is better, the PM2 or the Pair 3? So there's tons of videos like these on YouTube, right? I'm just another knife YouTuber trying to add my two cents into the mix. But hey, I just want to kind of do a little bit of a different video format, kind of sit back, relax style format video and just have some fun talking to you guys about these two gray EDC knives. By the way, there are reviews for both of these knives. If you want to learn more about each of them specifically, get more into details about one versus the other, let's get right into it here. First of all, I want to be very clear up front that this is, of course, a lot of this, you know, I'm going to try to base it on all the facts as far as one knife versus the other. But ultimately, both of these knives are going to be very, very good. Uh, Spyderco makes some of the best knives out there. The quality is just amazing. Spyderco quality check. The QC department is really, really good. Nice company out of the factory in great great condition and these knives here are no exception they provide some of the best edge grinds edge uh, bevels out there their um, grinds are really really good again the knives are super super sharp out of the box and they have just as advertised a very ghost like sharp edge so yes you know you're getting an american made knife both of these are made in the usa both of them are made in golden colorado usa earth so you know you have that going if you're looking to get an american knife spider co has really good heat treatment their heat treatment is some of the best and what heat treatment does in case you're new to the knife world and uh, edc community right the heat treating a knife or heat treating a steel to be more precise actually talks about the toughness of the steel basically determines how long would that knife hold an edge over what period of time it also has to do with how corrosion resistant is that knife going to be so heat treating a knife and heat treating it properly depending on the type of steel every steel has a different heat treat requirement and doing that correctly for the different type of steel is something to take into consideration. That is one thing that Spyderco has figured out and that is something that they certainly got going for it. Another thing to consider is the fact that both of these guys are going to be rocking the compression lock. So the compression lock is very similar to a liner lock, but a lot safer. It's sort of like a reverse liner lock because it happens right here in the back of the knife instead of in front. So compression locks are very, very good. They are both very, very safe and easy to operate. They're not the most ambidextrous friendly out there you might want to consider a spider co manix and i'll make a separate video comparing the manix as well later on but you either get a right-handed version for the compression lock or you will get a mirror version of this if you are left-handed but it doesn't by default out of the box work the same or as well for both righties and lefties so other than that the compression lock is really really good it is one of the best locking mechanisms out there and it's just a very very fidgety locking mechanism you also have going for it you have the very iconic spidey hole or spidey circle right there so both knives have that going for it that is obviously very very unique to spider co knives sort of gives you that dead burn look to the knives that i always talk about in every spider co knife and keep in mind i, I always say this because you know you are probably in my shoes or you were probably in my shoes at some point and i'm sure you can relate i wasn't always the biggest fan of spider co knives whatsoever when i first started my journey about a year ago spider co knives were to me some of the most weird but are ugly looking nice if i'm being honest that i came across but hey i'll tell you the second i started edc in one of them and i bought my first one i believe i actually got my pn2 before i got my pair three but it was very shortly after that i got the pair three right away after i got the pn2 something about experiencing one after the other is like wait a second i gotta have the other one the smaller brother to to the bigger pn2 and well, i'll touch a little bit more about that but that's just something about spider cone eyes that you can't go wrong with the overall quality how it performs as a cutting tool is just awesome so yeah, they both have that round circle hole going on there on both of them. Both of them are going to run on washers, so no ball bearings here. You have some nice washers that might be a little bit stiff at first, but once you break them in, like they are broken in here on this pair of three, you can see they create a very, very smooth action. No doubt about that. Can't go wrong with either one. So just wanted to kind of put out there the basic underlying facts that everyone must take into consideration when uh, looking at spider cone knives. Now, <laughs> are, they, are they the most aesthetically pleasing knives out there probably not right are they the prettiest knives out there that is a very very subjective if you love 
fighter card knives that you might be on the camp of yes there are some very good looking knives if you're on the camp of what in the world are spider core knives and why do it look so funky <laughs> you're probably not gonna like the design as much but hey at some point i can almost guarantee you this design will grow on you if you give it a try if you pick up a spider code knife or two and you start edc in them right you're gonna fall in love with them in no time obviously both of them are awesome both of them are really really good knives both of them are great edc knives uh, again the quality the overall performance both of them actually are in um, cpm s45 vn steel so they got that going for them maybe this isn't obvious enough uh, based on the name but let's point out the elephant in the room obviously the pair three is a smaller version of the pm2 so in case that wasn't already obvious enough well there is that and as you can see here right when you compare one design versus the other if i basically lay one on top of the other you can see where the blade how they cut the blade a little bit shorter right there while still keeping somewhat of the same design how the handle is a little bit shorter right there as well so uh, those are things to consider uh, let's do a quick measurement on this guy right let's see what we have here on the pair of two we have a total of this guy is around eight and eight and a quarter inches right there total length on the pm2 and then we have a total of what do we have here a pair of three is going to be seven and a quarter so it's about a whole one inch less on the pair of three as compared to the pm2 handle here on the pm2 is about four four point a little bit more than four and three quarters and handle on the pair of three is going to be around four and a half so you can start to see you know the, the difference right there how those numbers add up and shrinking the design all right blade cutting edge cutting edge on the pm2 you have about three and a half of cutting edge right there and on the pair of three you have around two and three quarters two and three quarters cutting edge right so definitely you get a lot more i guess numbers wise if you're a get more for the money type of person obviously you're going to get a lot more with the pm2 larger handle larger blade larger longer cutting edge right etc both of these versions are going to be on the g10 variant there's a very affordable price for these uh, with the frn if you get the light version you get the more plastic filling frn if you're more into that a uh, more of a, a g10 type of edc enthusiast or knife enthusiast so i always try to go for that g10 version if i can and that's what both of these are in g10 uh you know black g10 here on the pm2 and this uh military camo on the para 3 as well and needless to say these are two uh probably arguably the two most popular spider code knives right here both of these are going to have a ton and i mean a ton of sprint runs going on left and right all the time they're going to have different steels being offered they're going to have again different handle materials being offered uh coatings to the blade the whole nine yards so you can always find something that you like if it's a different steel handle all that good stuff right there's tons and tons of different variations going on for these guys how are the ergonomics on both of these guys well ergonomics are pretty much on point right around the same since they are pretty similar of a design i want to say if you have extremely large hands maybe the pm2 is a better option i have medium medium hands not too big not too small and as you can see both of them fit in my hand pretty good with of course a pm2 still having plenty of room there uh, if i were to have larger hands right both of the knives actually have the uh, forward choke option which is pretty good so if you want to be more precise with your cuts you can index finger right here on this um, choil forward choil here and it gives you a lot more uh, control over the blade uh, which is pretty good you have jimping going on in the back right there which is nice and grippy for those specific cuts uh, obviously the blade is going to extend if i put them there side by side a lot longer on the pm2 that's to be expected both of them have the little finger safety little section right here which allows your finger to you know not run out of room or be very aware of where the <laughs> forward choke ends and where the blade actually starts where the actual edge starts so that's good it's good for safety there they both have that feature so that's again you know same thing going on on both one thing that i mentioned or i realized is that there's an actual screw going on in the body here on the pm2 right whereas here on the pair of three is just a simple i guess um what do you call it spacer right so there's no screws here on this one just a kind of a spacer right there as a placeholder not that that makes a difference or anything like that but again something to notice both of these knives can be carried both tip up tip down or left to right which is pretty nice got all the drilling openings on all the sides which is pretty good they both have this uh crazy looking lanyard tube right there which is pretty crazy again if you're into that if you're one of the five people in the world maybe four that still do lanyards on your knives if you do that's great more power to you i don't judge i'm personally not that much of a uh, lanyard type of person you probably notice i have a deep pocket carry on both of these because by default they actually come 
with whatever this is. <laughs> this is Spider Co's uh, default pocket clip, which definitely makes your knife stick out a whole lot out of the pocket, right? Like about that much. Whereas with a deep pocket carry clip, of course, is gonna be hiding quite substantially less, and that's good. So something to consider there, if perhaps is your first Spider Co that you're getting, as you can see, both of these have the exact same pocket clip, and maybe it sticks out a little bit more on the pair of three versus the PM2, but not by much. It still gets the job done to keep your knife nice and hidden as much as possible in your pocket. I know I personally prefer that over, you know, half your knife sticking out. <laughs> both of them have a flat grind going on here, which is very nice. It's going to make both knives very, very slicey for those slicing tasks. A flat grind is something that you cannot go wrong with. And that's exactly what you have going on on both of these guys, right? Flat grind, super, super slicey. Uh, definitely one of the most sliciest knives or blade designed geometry that you can go with for sure, especially for EDC. S45VN is a solid steel and it's actually a very premium steel with some great, great properties going on for the price. So definitely can't go wrong with either or. I have somewhat of a tumble finish on this pair three. I have a little bit more of a satin finish going on on this PM2. And it wasn't intentional actually, I, but for whatever reason, when I ordered them, one came in the tumble finish, the other one came in the satin finish right there in a way. Both of these designs are gonna be a collaboration between father and son, Sal Lesser and Eric Lesser, the son. It basically a different iteration of the design, basically coming all the way down from the Spyderco military. And then you have the Spyderco paramilitary, then the military two and the pair three right here. And you know, obviously the whole goal with the knife is to make it a little bit shorter and that's ultimately what it may come down for you, right? What it really comes down to is preference for the most part, right? Are you more of a medium or larger knife type of person or are you more of a you know medium to small or definitely on the smaller size type of person that is something to consider what about your local laws that is something to keep in mind as well if you live somewhere where you have a certain limitation in regards to blade length only the pair of three might be the only option for you if you live somewhere where you don't have any limitations at all then you probably want to pick up the pm2 but ultimately i'm pretty sure and i'm willing to bet money on this chances are if you pick one up and you start experiencing what what it is that it offers and what it brings to the table i can almost guarantee you within a very short period of time because it happened to me right speak from experience here you're probably going to want to pick up the other i have days where i carry my pm2 and that's great and there are other days where i'm like hey let me let me carry something a little bit smaller so i'll throw my pair three in my pocket instead so it really doesn't matter me personally i like them both right it's for you to decide whether you know one is better than the other honestly the correct answer here spoiler alert <laughs> is both right if you have a, the if you have the chance to at some point pick one and then pick the other and regardless of which order you do them in if you get the pair three first then the pm2 or pm2 first and the pair three honestly you can't go wrong with either one and they're both really really good and again they're like <laughs> they're siblings right so the design is really not that off from one to the other size something to consider and also price so typical pricing on these you'll probably find the pm2 these days goes for something like 185 dollars or so in this variation here the pair three uh with g10 of course both of these are g10 the pair of three is usually around 175 so you know you have like maybe ten dollars depending on where you buy it and when you buy it might be like 15 to 20 dollar difference between one or the other but that's really not that big of a difference right ultimately if you're trying to choose one knife over the other that price difference right there isn't really considered like a ton of savings so you might obviously want to end up with a little bit more cutting uh, or working blade and edge on the pm2 over the pair three if that's what you want to go for if you want something more packetable right that you can just throw in your pocket and uh probably going to take less room definitely a lot lighter uh, of course then you definitely want to go with the pair of three etc but again for the weight i mean if you are a lightweight freak you probably want to obviously consider the pair of three me personally i i definitely didn't find any benefits for the weight on of one versus the other to me they were both about the same and they both feel about the same in the pocket so i didn't really notice that huge of a difference right there at all but yeah so ultimately which one would you pick which one do i recommend honestly guys it's my opinion could be towards either or i could tell you you know pick this one or pick that one but honestly the correct answer here is c all of the above right honestly again going back to the size because that's really what your main consideration is here they are pretty much the same model just a little bit shorter right you, you got the camry right here and you got the corolla right so you know it's a toyota right so toyotas are reliable you know you can uh, beat them to the ground that you can put a tons of miles they're super super reliable and that's exactly what spider co is right spider co is like that toyota right very reliable you know they're gonna get the job done super good quality gonna put in work no problem and then it's just a matter of hey are you more of a you want to 
bigger sedan, a smaller sedan? Do you want a larger knife because you're, you know, you have more of a medium to large knife type of task? Are you, do you prefer, is your taste a little bit more leaning towards larger knives? Do you want to take, make use of a larger cutting distance? Then of course get the PM2. Do you want something more packable? Do you not really care about the length of the blade as much, right? You're looking for something nice and easy and quick and light, right? Then you get the Corolla, AKA the pair of three right here. Can't go wrong with either one. Again, everyone's opinion is subjective. So if you hear someone telling you one is better than the other, just run away the opposite direction because they're both that good. They're really both that good. So I'm gonna call this one a tie, completely 100% a tie because they're absolutely so, so good. So the final answer really comes to what can you carry in your area? Again, do your own research, check your local laws. And then what is your taste? Really, what comes down to that? Prefer a larger knife, PM2 all day. Prefer a little bit of smaller knife, pair of three all day. And that's really it, right? That is honestly what it comes down to. But again, the correct answer is all the above, right? If you get an opportunity to pick one up, then the other, that's the way to go. That's the way I did it. I'm happy. Anytime I see these knives in my rotation, I'm super, super excited. Sometimes I EDC them back to back and I'm like, hey, you know what? Yesterday I was EDC in one, now I'm EDC in the other. That's pretty cool that I get to experience both. Just the, you know, military blade shape overall is such a good knife over. I'm glad that they did, you know, a smaller version so that we can experience that as well. So there's a the video, guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this discussion. Don't forget to leave me some feedback in the comments. Let me know what your point of view is. If you agree or disagree with me, and that's okay, by the way, if you disagree with me, that is okay. We can both live in a world where we have different opinions, but we can still be friends, right? Don't forget to leave a huge like on this video. Please consider subscribing. If you're watching this video and you're not just subscribed, according to my analytics, there's about almost 90% of the viewers in this channel enjoy the content, but they're not subscribed. And guess what? I got news for you. A subscription is completely free. I will not be charging you anything. You can feel free to subscribe and you'll be supporting the channel in that way. If you made it to the end, you guys are the real MVPs. I love you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And hey, be on the lookout for a comparison video next of the PM2 versus the Manix 2. That's gonna be the next video dropping in the channel. It might just be live right now. And if that's the case, I'm gonna put a card right here so you can check out that video next. Take care guys, I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.